Welcome back to Supercar Street Racing for another episode. And today, Think Car reached out to us for the second time to see if we wanted to take a look at their other OB2 scanner here. This is the Think Car Think Scan 662 that we have sitting right here with me so fly and so fresh and today we're going to get this thing unboxed hook it up to rich's truck and we're going to see what it can do and report that back to you on supercar street racing let's get busy In Supercar Street Racing Studio A. I built this studio myself. If you haven't seen it before, there's some videos about it, and you should go back and check out because I did most of the work in here myself. And I'm super proud of it. But today, Think Car reached out to us for the second time. They are a proud channel sponsor, and they wanted us to take a look at their Think Car Think Scan 662 OBD2 reader. Now, this guy has some cool features. It has bi directional tests, it does ABS, SRS, transmission. 12 resets and FCA SGW and it has free lifetime updates. Now this thing does bi-directional reporting and that means that's the most popular way to check whether control systems in the vehicle are actually working as they're designed to work. It does a lot of cool features on the screen you can see here it does ABS, fuel injectors, throttle, coolant, fans, radiators, coolant pumps, EV, AP, fuel trim, and other things like that a lot of cool features that this guy can actually do in your car and when you buy this thing you get oed2 pro features for half the cost of a pro scanner 12 whole reset functions built into the think car 662. this thing has the capability to do real-time VIN lookup so it can recognize your car it does real-time data as well it'll show you right on the screen what's going on with your car at that very moment this thing has a 4-core, 1.8 GHz CPU, a 6.2-inch screen, 2 gigs of built-in RAM, and 32 gigabytes of storage. It has a 4150 milliamp battery for long life as well, and it's rubberized so you can store it anywhere like a trunk or a garage and it won't get damaged. This thing is literally plug-and-play. Even if you have no experience with an OBT2 scanner, you can plug this guy right in and start working. Now, OBD2 came out in 1996, so this supports everything 1996 and later. And you get a lifetime of free updates and free technical support when you order this from ThinkCar. So now that we've taken a look at the features of the ThinkCar 662, let's go ahead and throw it over to Studio B, where I'm going to be in there unboxing this thing for you guys. We're right here in front of the Think Car Think Scan 662. Now, Think Car has worked with us before, and I'm so proud to have them as a channel sponsor. And they wanted you to see this Think Car Think Scan automotive diagnostic tool that is pretty cool. Now this thing does all kinds of cool features. It has bi-directional active testing, ABS, SRS, transmission, 12 different resets, and lifetime of free updates as well. And it can test things like your throttle, your windows, your mirrors, your fuel injectors, your horn sounds, your indoor lights, anything your car. If it is equipped with things to be tested, this thing probably will cover it. Now this thing connects to your OBD2 port like the other scanners that we got. And this is a pro level scanner at a fraction of the cost, so it actually saves you money. Not sure what no second listing is, but that's what's on the side of the box. There's some data on this side of the box all about the Think Car. There's a QR code and just some barcodes here and some information about the actual product on the box. 
This guy should automatically be able to read your VIN and know what car you're working on. It can clear your codes, it can read your codes, and it can analyze your data streams. This thing does a lot of things that other scanners don't do, like reset functions and lifetime updates for you for free. It's got a 4150 milliamp battery, a nice screen, 6.2 inch touch screen. Other ones just have smaller screens and they're usually not touch. And of course, it can also read out real-time data about your car, tell you what's going on with it in real time so you can see things like voltage, RPM, and other things like that live. Now, this guy has upgraded hardware. It's got a four core 1.8 gigahertz CPU, a 6.2 inch touch screen. It's 1024 by 600 resolution, two gigs of RAM with 32 gigs of ROM. It runs Android 8 and it does support 2.4G Wi-Fi. It's compatible with 140 different vehicle brands. It does FCA auto auth, CAN FD protocol, 28 languages, works with anything 1996 or newer. Now that we know a little bit about this thing, let's go ahead and get it out of the box where we can start charging it to actually use it. And inside the box directly in front of you, you see a nice manual here, a pretty thick manual with a bunch of different languages. That's what that is. It's got all the languages in there. It does have a thank you for your purchase right on the top here. Underneath that, some things for you to eat later. Underneath that, an OBD2 cable. And then underneath that, a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. Yeah, there's no plastic on top, but here's the OBD2. We don't need the charger because I have my own. There's where you connect the OBD2 cable. Here's where you put your charger. You have to pop this little thing out right there and there is your USB type C. And it also looks like there is room for a SD card in there as well. But yeah, let's get this ThinkCar ThinkScan 662 on the charger so we can look at it in real time. We just powered up the Think Car after plugging it into the charger and seeing that it was fairly charged, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug the computer cable into it so it can keep charging. And it is powering up right now, and I do like the logo, how it is actually the same color as the case here. It does say welcome, let's go ahead and hit start. It actually is charged up at 100%. Talking about customer service here, and I'm sure it's gonna to wanna to connect to Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and connect it, you guys can't see this says connecting to my Wi-Fi. Now I'm interested in going ahead and updating it with upgrade. There's upgrade that, there's maintenance software, there's vehicle diagnostic software. Let's go ahead and do both. Let's do vehicle diagnostic software. Ah, here is the update for the actual box and it says it is downloading. It is 72 megabytes and there is the progress bar on that one. Let's let that roll. Okay, it did finish upgrading the software on the actual device. These are updates for the actual vehicles. This takes a very long time. On the last tablet, it took over an hour. So while this updates, we're gonna go ahead and stop down and wait for it to get done. Okay, we just unboxed the ThinkCar 662 OBD2 scanner. You guys took a look at everything that was included in this, and we did go ahead and put it on the charger. And now that this thing is totally charged up, we need to actually test it. Let's take it over to one of our friend's houses and go ahead and see what this thing can do. All right, we are out here in Rich's truck, and you can see right in front of me here, the Think Car 662 sitting here, ready to be plugged in. So let's go ahead and find Rich's OBD2 port. It is way in the corner over there, and all we should have to do is take this little cover off here and plug this directly into his car. And it is plugged all the way in now. I think car's in front of us now and it is off. I did see a 100% battery on there. I'm gonna go ahead and power it on now. And there it did light up with the cool font that matches the color here on the front. Let's go ahead and get in the car. Okay, cool. So we are booted up now. We have the think car in front of us, auto search. And it is doing a VIN scan right now. You can see that showing a car rotating like that. Very cool matrix looking background on there. And it is a Toyota. It found the VIN and the model. Let's see what it's doing now. And it is loading vehicle data. 
Automatic search, North America. Communicating with ECU. It is a double cab. All that looks good. It's reading all of the data. Let's do a health report. Now this car was just serviced, so it should not have any issues. Ah, there is a traction control system fault. Low battery, positive voltage, or abnormally high battery voltage. And that is it. We have one fault. Read fault code. Description, low battery, positive voltage, or abnormally high battery positive voltage. It is doing a system scan now, and it's just showing us what sensors are equipped in the car. And so that is the fault code scanning. We have 14 volts at the battery right there, it says. I did an automatic search again, retrieving ECU. And when you're done with this, you do have the capability to go look up the fault code and see exactly what it is online. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to Rich's Wi-Fi. Now here's a look at all the maintenance thing you can do. This thing does a lot of maintenance items like ABS bleeding, airbag resets, SRS battery matching. You can re register your battery after you replace it. Your brake pad reset. There's DPF, throttle adaptation, gearbox, anti-theft and key matching, and injector coating. There are so many. And then this last light is on. So this is where you register your new TPMS sensors. Now here's the report settings. And there's our report. And we can email it feedback section. And there's a dollar fix community where you can go online and go ahead and participate in things about fixing the car. Maintenance section is what I just showed you. Upgrade is where you upgrade the software and the car information. And in more, we have settings. And here you can go on to Wi-Fi and get more information online about your diagnostics. There's your user manual right there, your fault code library. All I have to do is put in the code number to look it up. And the code that we found is C1241, and we have to put in Toyota. And there is no result for that there, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the Google search for it. And there is the meaning of this fault code. I'm gonna take a picture for Rich. And you can get remote assistance as well. And here's all your other settings. So yeah, this thing is pretty versatile. It does all kinds of cool things. It can help you do diagnosis. It can reset all your codes. You can make reports. And like I said, this will help Rich know that he went into the garage and got something done with his car, but yet he still has a fault code. And you can also read live data. Any of these different types of data, like engine RPM. And there it is right there when we selected it. We are at 700 RPMs, and you can also record them and play them back later. Now we see everything in it, and we can actually record it live. And there is our stream report there that we can probably download later, or we can also make it into a PDF file and share it. So that is a good look at the ThinkCar 662. Really cool device. Now let's talk about how you can get one for yourself. All right, we just connected this 662 Think Car OBD2 scanner to someone's truck or car and showed you guys exactly how it pulls all the codes and tests everything out in the actual vehicle. There's only one more thing to do now. We need to go ahead and throw it back to Studio B with Brad and see how you can buy your own Think Car 662 on Amazon. What's up guys, welcome to Supercar Street Racing. We have Think Car again as a proud sponsor of the channel and we're so grateful to have them on board. They sent us their next device, the 662. It is right here in my hand right here. This thing is so awesome, it does everything. It's all you need to do scanning on your vehicle diagnosing and maintenance and it's got a cable right here that comes with it this is the 662 model you can see it right here as it's booting up and the little font did match the actual front of it which i think is very cool now we took this thing directly across the street to rich's house plugged it in his truck and we did find out that he does have codes left over even after he went to his mechanic so he will actually be asking them what those codes were for it was something to do with his abs system and battery power or something like that and right now in front of me you can see that this is 239 dollars right here on amazon go ahead and pick up yours from the link in the description please support supercar street racing when you buy everything from our affiliate link it does help us out just a little bit and you're going to be so happy with this guy it has lifetime free updates as well, so you don't have to pay for getting updates for the vehicle models or the actual software on the OBD2 scanner. 
and you can see right here and right now it has bi-directional control active test functions it can test four systems here your engine transmission abs and srs systems reset functions are listed right here as you can see it does a lot of those as well and it does have different capabilities than all the other cheaper scanners. They're all listed right here. I'll leave a link in the description to those. Please go ahead and support Supercar Street Racing by buying one from the official affiliate links and tell them SCSR Compound sent you to buy one of these ThinkScan 662s. And we're gonna have to get out of here for the day. We got a lot of stuff to do. We have probably 10 more videos we have to get shot and edited, but thank you for over 200,000 subscribers. We couldn't do it without you. We're out of here. Peace out, let's go.